this is my actually this is my first tutorial. It's my and it's not only my first tutorial, it's my first live tutorial. So please bear with me. But this app is so cool that I just had to share it and I had to share what I know. I've, this is only my third live stream. So if you're wondering like how do you go live if you're a small YouTube channel under a thousand subscribers on your mobile phone. And it's something that I really feel like I've been missing out on because it's such an awesome way to build great connections with your community. So answer is Prism Live Studio. I'll just sign out of here so you can see it. There it is, Prism Live with a little triangle there. Now this can record in portrait mode or widescreen. I'm keeping it widescreen because I'm about to do a live on YouTube, hopefully, see how it works. But I'll share what I know so far. So first up, as you'll see, there's three dots in the top left-hand corner. I will click on that, and that shows that my microphone is on. Um, you can select your uh, front-facing, front-facing, Oh, you flip it. Oh, that's cool. You can flip it so you're not in reverse. That's cool. And save after streaming. Microphone on, camera on. Camera's not on yet, obviously, because I'm not recording just yet. So there's some cool features. It's nice to have that flip function, so if you're holding up something with text on it, it's not in reverse. That's really cool. Um, so next one along, you'll see you'll have the flip your camera kind of thing. Um, I won't press that now, otherwise you're just going to see my dashboard, it's not very exciting. Um, and up here is my little icon, because I've connected this app with my, oh, it's all sideways, sorry about that. Um, these are the two lives which I've already done already. Um, now if I click on the cog sign above my profile, um, it has my Google, um, my Google, uh, what do we call it, identity. <laughs> and down here is um, streaming destination. So if you click on that, you can see I've got mine connected to YouTube and Periscope, but we also have Twitch available, VLive, Naver TV, and Afri, Af Afrika TV. I haven't heard of that one. But um, so that's pretty cool that you can share out to all of those things at the same time. Video resolution, 1080p. I'm actually going to do it um, at 720 because I'm on a cellular network um, and I don't want to chew up too much of my data but I want it to look reasonably good. So um, there's a watermark that you can conceal so you're not advertising Prism, although I am advertising Prism because they're so cool, I just don't want them watermark on the thing. Okay, so we'll check out of there and go back. And, uh, and so up here, you'll notice three dots in the middle. The left-hand side dot is video only mode. The middle one is live mode. And over here is your studio. Um, now in your studio, if you have load things up into your studio like photos, like video, uh, music, and I think the web, it says the web, you can actually, um, incorporate that in your live video which is totally awesome um, and over here because anyone who follows my channel knows that I love uh, black and white there's a whole range of filters you can choose for your for your live and like for me I like to choose my black and white one but there's plenty of others to choose from as well um, yeah so that is seriously cool I'm going to keep the black and white because I love that. Um, and down the bottom, you can see the little magic wand. Is it a magic wand? I don't know. Um, a fairy stick, something. <laughs> I don't know. Let's kick it out. And um, we've got all these things, all these cool things. Like, um, you know, I can make a big announcement. I see I've clicked this ta-da one. Tap on the screen. Ta-da! And that happens while you're recording live. I can chuck on a chicken suit. And if I can get back far enough, you can see how cool that is. So that's pretty cool too. You know, some sunnies, all kinds of stuff. You can put borders on. They've done so much with this app, it's incredible. And you can really fine tune it to um, your live stream. You can do um, live drawing on your 
on your thing like this. I can scribble all over the place. And to undo that, on the right hand side there's a little undo symbol there, which is really cool. Um, so just tap on that again. I actually want to lose this border. Not a big fan of the borders myself. I'm more a traditional kind of film kind of guy. Um, and we've also got type over here. So, so you can say something like, um, um, small YouTubers. You all YouTubers rule. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? And then I can chuck that down there. Can adjust the size. Can delete it. So there is so much going on in this app. You really need to open it and have a look for yourself because um, it's pretty cool stuff. So as you can see on the right hand side in the middle, um, I've got the live setting uh, highlighted with that little yellow dot right there. Um, and we can go live and see what happens. So let's do it. Let's see if anyone's there. Um, but we've got to do a few things first. So as you can see down the bottom, I'm uh, streaming to Periscope, which goes out to Twitter and YouTube at 720p. It says multi-stream on. Up here, there's a little video option, so you can actually add in a video to start your live stream, which is totally awesome. Now, enter your title. That's got some serious SEO going on. Okay, so let's hit it. As you can see, the screen orientation can't be changed when it started. Three, two, one, I wonder if I've got a good enough connection. And here I am going live, here I am live. Yes, hello, how you doing? And I uh, just wanted to share with everyone because, you know, you can now go live if you're a small YouTube channel on your mobile, which is really impressive. I'm currently now in the car park of McDonald's, not because it's not sponsored content and not because I like McDonald's, um, although I have sneaky chips occasionally, but because I've got free Wi-Fi. <laughs> so when you're out and about and need some free Wi-Fi, check it out, mate. Need to swipe left like that. And here you go, here's the option where you want to add photos. Here's a, here's a photo of what, a drawing which I did recently. I can add this in. I don't know if I need to hit that, and there we go. And add. And then I can check it in like that. If you can see that, that's my one of my latest drawings um, for a kid's book that I'm doing. So you can see that you can do things like that, which is really cool. Now I can click on that again and delete it. Uh, and also all those filters that I showed earlier in the um, before I went live um, you can add those while you are live doing your live there was a couple of things that um, I've overlooked um, well, I didn't overlook but it didn't actually work now it's interesting normally you would see chat comments popping up here and there were people in the chat um, now I've done it three times now twice on a cellular connection, once on Wi-Fi. Both times I've been on cellular, there's been no chat. Um, and when I've been on Wi-Fi, there has been a chat. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's just coincidence. I don't know if there's a slight glitch in the app. Um, but I had my laptop set up beside me and I could see comments were coming in, but they weren't appearing here. Normally, you swipe left across the screen and that should work with you. Now, if you encounter any issues with this, let me know in the comments down below because, um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to work out what's going there. Anyway, I'm going to persevere with this app because I really love the function of going live from my mobile. And, um, yeah, please let me know if you found this helpful at all as a small YouTuber. Um, me personally, I'm on a career pivot experiment where I'm trying to do creative, make a living doing creative work that I love. At the moment I'm doing um, some kids books work and um, I'm documenting my journey along the way and also putting anything out there online 
which might be helpful to creatives trying to get their message out to the world. So um, that's just what I'm doing. So if that interests you, click the bell, subscribe, comment, all those things, all those kind of YouTube things. But you've tuned out by now, so that's fine. <laughs>